morning guys we are up this morning i am pretty much all ready i still have to brush my teeth and then put makeup on but i also have to still pack everything we are actually uh leaving for the weekend we are going to illinois because today we are going to ken's sisters to celebrate her and her husband's birthdays and then tomorrow we are going bridesmaids bridesmaid dress shopping and i am so excited about it uh ken's sister had found a really uh nice place and my sister called and uh it's i think a boutique so we are going to go to that one and hoping we can find a dress so this morning i actually had to go downstairs and dry the rest of my clothes because i put them in the wash and then forgot about them so i have to get those done and then i'm going to pack my bag for the weekend and it is 7 30 now and we're gonna leave around nine so i'm probably going to real quick go downstairs get some coffee then i have to wait for the clothes to dry so i can pack it so the only thing i really can do this morning is at least get my bathroom stuff all done and i just spent probably like 30 minutes on my hair because i was trying to crimp it but it didn't look good so i had to get it wet and redo it so this part of me is all done but this part of me still has to get dressed uh, like i said i'm mainly just waiting on all those clothes to dry so i am going to pack up the bathroom drink some coffee and then i will talk to you guys when i'm ready to pack so we ended up running to walmart to get ken's sister a card and the laundry is now done so i kind of just threw some stuff on the bed and i'm going to start packing i am not really sure what i'm going to wear today i when we went to walmart i actually found this which i thought was so cute so i'm trying to decide if i want to wear it today or tomorrow when we go dress shopping but i am going to finish up packing put my makeup on and then we will hit the road and head to his sister's ready so I'm gonna head downstairs with my stuff we're probably going to pack up the car and hit the road so I might I probably won't talk to you guys until Sunday morning when we head out to go dress shopping so I will see you on Sunday good morning guys I am, I don't know why, I am up this morning getting ready. We just had some breakfast, so I am going to get finished getting dressed. And around noon, we are going to our first place, which is super exciting. So we had breakfast this morning with Ken's sister and his nieces. So now I am just getting ready, brushing my teeth, doing my hair, and getting set for the day. And then we'll be heading out to go dress shopping, which is very exciting. So I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning and say good morning and hello. So I will uh, talk to you guys later.
Oh. I'm taking video, so it's like. Oh yeah, no. I do like that. I like it better than the other. No, than the other blue one. So we are officially home now. Uh, after we were looking at dresses, we found one that both of them liked, and we got those ordered. And then, <laughs> then you're in the way. And then me and Ken's sister, who is my maid of honor, she took me out for some lunch and we talked wedding stuff for a good like four hours. And then um, we were leaving to head home and she called me and was upset because she looked up the... Uh, designer of the dresses to show her daughter the dress she would be wearing for the wedding in the color because when we tried when they tried it on at the store it was in a different color than what we wanted for the wedding we want like a burnt orange dress color and the dress when they tried it on was blue but of course you could get it in whatever color so then she was looking it up to show her daughters and it was actually way cheaper online than what they originally paid for her and my sister so uh of course it said you know no refunds and all that from the dress shop but she's going to call and try just to ask them if there's anything they can do to honor the different price that it is just because it was so much cheaper online and then we're gonna try to figure that out to see if they can't help us in that direction because at this point for what they paid is they both paid half of the amount and right now even if they don't get a refund it's going to be cheaper to just cancel the order and buy it offline so I will keep you guys updated on what happens because it is very interesting so Ken's sister called me and then I called my sister to have her look up her size and to see if they like, because they charge my sister extra money because she needed a bigger size. So I said, look up your size and tell me what they charge you. And they charged her the same amount. So uh, both of them were a little upset for all of these char extra charges to the dress shop. Um, like I think they charged them like $50 for like shipping it because they said it was like overseas. And all of these like extra charges so both of them are like a little upset right now and I, I get it because like when you're buying something and then you find it somewhere else for cheaper it can be upsetting that you paid more somewhere else so Ken sister is gonna call on Tuesday since they're closed tomorrow which is Monday and she's gonna talk to them and see if they can't do anything and then we're just gonna kind of go from there but I'll let you guys know and keep you guys updated on what happens. But it was really uh, exciting and very memorable moment to be able to do that with them and just look at all the dresses and to figure out 
what they wanted so I'm not a very picky bride so when we went I just told them to try on whatever dresses they liked and to get whatever they felt comfortable in because I just want them to be comfortable on my wedding day and I was just like I know the color is going to be the same but the dresses to me didn't matter if they were the same or not so of course uh Ken's sister tried on the one dress we ended up getting and she liked it and my sister was like oh I'll try it on and the first dress she actually tried on she really liked but then she tried that dress on that Ken's sister was wearing and she was like you know I actually really like this so then one more time Ken's sister tried it on and she was like I, I love this dress too so they both actually ended up getting the same dress which was pretty nice and even if they can't get their money refunded and we have to get it offline f for the cheaper price they're gonna do that and they're still gonna be the same dress so either way it falls um, we'll get the dress <laughs> we want them to wear we just have to figure out a way around uh, what drama is happening right now but I wanted to come on and talk to you guys and share a little update on us traveling home and the fun stuff that happened while I was traveling home because we left and then like I said his sister went online and then she called me and I called my sister and it was like this big thing and yeah that's where we are right now so it is actually nine o'clock so I am going to head the head head to bed because we are off work tomorrow and meeting with our photographer to talk um over like the wedding day and all that which I'm actually going to vlog tomorrow as well like our trip there and an update on just like everything with the photographer and all that and kind of just share my day with you guys as well you probably won't see that one uh that might be not the next vlog after this one but the one after that because I actually have another vlog that I want to record for the beginning week of February um I want to do a vlog sharing with you guys my monthly content my monthly content and how I schedule that and what it looks like and the planners I use and just all that because it's can sometimes be interesting on how people plan out their content for like podcasts or YouTubes or whatever you're doing even if you're doing like Instagram it's really interesting just to see kind of how different people plan out stuff and I want to show you guys how I plan out uh, my month it, month calendars in advance so I'll show you how I set up February and how I set up like recording for my vlog recording for my podcast making sure that I have um, like reels or shorts um, ready to go or Instagram posts since I'm trying to get into posting at least one Instagram post a week and then one reel on Instagram and then I want to try to do videos of like shorts for when my videos come out on YouTube um, so then there's a YouTube short that goes with along with the video that's coming out so I'm gonna try to do that um, I might not be perfect because I'm not very good at posting uh, on Instagram or doing shorts on YouTube but I want to try to do it and see if I can and I'm, what I'm probably gonna try to do is do it like over the week before I'll plan everything and then the next week everything will come out so I'm like kind of like I do YouTube like it's always um, when I post the videos it's usually like either the weekend before or the week before and stuff so it's not like always exactly like that seemed like week and everything uh, but that's what I'm gonna try to do just to try something new and keep up so I'm actually going to head to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow but you guys won't see that video until two videos I think it's one video in between but for me it'll be one day so I will talk to you guys soon